What is up, heroes? It's Midnight Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Silent Hill Blind. In the last episode, we made our way into this sort of, like, alternate Midwich Elementary School that's significantly creepier. It's got all these, like, torn-down walls and everything. Actually, it reminds me a lot of Corpse Party. And in this episode, we're gonna keep exploring it. As you can see, we've got plenty of the, the first floor, we've got the whole second floor, and then we've got the roof and the boiler room to take a look at as well. And... Based on that, we'll see what we can do. There's this question mark in the middle of the courtyard, right? There's this, like, summoning circle, this, you know, something like that, uh, that we need to do something with. I don't exactly know what yet, um, but hopefully that'll enable us to solve what could be the final puzzle. And, contrary to my expectations, that was not a boss door or anything like that. And instead, here we are, just in a normal hallway. That took a long time to load. Okay, so what are we going to find in here? It's obviously something going on with this sink. A lot of blood, which is obviously not, you know, the best sign. What are all these cans on the ground? Are they old health drinks from Harry's past or something like that? Possibly? Not probably, though. Can we go in any of the, what were, stalls? No? Okay. Then we'll head on out. Oh, we have friends. Probably on the other side of that fence, though. Anything in here? Another bloody sink, and ooh, some ammo. Take that, and is this a first aid kit, or what? No, come on, there, there are a couple things on the ground there. Handgun bullet, what's this? Shotgun shells? <gasps> we about to get a shotgun? Ooh, that's exciting. Now we're talking some big damage. Are there, like, boss fights in this game? I wouldn't peg this game to be one for, you know, big boss fights. But I also wouldn't be surprised if they tried to up the ante with some of the enemies and, you know, have some bigger enemies that do a bit more damage or take some more hits to, to go down, right? Either way, we go through here. Yeah, the enemy is on the other side there. Can we... These are both bathrooms, right? Yeah, so we're we're kind of stuck with just this area for now. Um, how did I... Wait, what? I'm on the second floor. But I swear... Huh? How did... How did that happen? So, I'm now on the first floor again. How did I end up on the second floor? There's something going on with this bathroom, guys, I tell ya. That's so weird. That's so weird. Okay, well, we're back on the first floor. Look at all the blood on the ground. Yikers. Any... Deathly threats waiting for us in here. Ooh, potentially beyond there. What do we have going on here first, though? Anything of interest in the sink? On the ground? On the walls? Doesn't appear so. Alright, what do we got in here, Stall? Well then. That's, uh... Not the most pleasant of sights. Can I shoot it? Doesn't seem so. If I start walking away, is it going to come after me? What is that on the on the wall? A hanging body. Why would somebody... What does this say? Leonard Ryan. The monster lurks. The monster lurks? What's that supposed to mean? Is this the person who died wrote that? Okay, so clearly there's some sort of big boss going on here. What's this on the ground? A shotgun. Okay, yeah. So, so you can already tell, right? We got the shotgun shells. We have a shotgun now. We have a note that says the monster lurks. A hanged body. Or rather, almost like crucified. Um, clearly, there is a big boy monster going around here somewhere. And we're going to have to fight it at some point. Let's see how many shotgun shells we actually have. The question is, where are we going to fight it, right? 
It, I imagine it would be in the courtyard. But we'll see. So we have six shotgun shells. The shotgun itself um, holds up to six rounds. It fires in a wide radius. I wonder if the damage, the damage should be higher. But I wonder if it actually is. The monster lurks. When are we going to meet the monster, right? Can we open this door? Unlock it, yeah. I figured that would be the case. Um, we can head into the teacher's room. See what's going on here. Yep. Unsurprisingly, it's probably more than one. No, the one at your foot, Harry. Okay. Stomp on it or something. Finally. Okay, how are we doing on health? Probably not super hot. Yeah, I didn't think so. Okay, we've got four health drinks. We've got six first aid kits. They gave us this thing. <laughs> this thing, the shotgun. Yeah, we're, we're definitely coming up on a boss battle of sorts. The teacher's room just has a few enemies. Functionally, another gauntlet in the way. Right? Forcing us to use health items, forcing us to fight things. I probably don't need to be fighting everything I am. Which is, you know, worth noting. I'll try exiting out this teacher's room door. Just to fill out the map a little bit and have options available. So that, you know... Should I be running around the map scurrying, I'll, I'll know which doors I can actually enter and exit from. So, another teacher's room. Looks like we're going to have some items. There's some more handgun bullets. It's always good. And then what do we have here? We've got three telephones? Can't use the phone. Why not? <laughs> is it because the power is out? Is it because we don't have the proper item? I don't know. I guess either way, we know that the phone is here now. Which is useful, potentially. Potentially not, I guess. Let's see if it marked it on the map. That's the true indicator of whether or not something is really important. Okay, so it's probably not important. But I'll keep it in mind. We are on... Game. Game. Don't be doing it like that. <laughs> don't be doing this to me. Oh, man. What's going to be on the other side? Daddy, help me. Oh, no. Daddy, where are you? Cheryl. Oh, no. Oh, no. That was Cheryl's voice. I know it. Where is she? <clears throat> where is she? <laughs> that was... That was creepy. Well done. Well done. I, I applaud you, game. Um, okay, so we just about explored the first floor. And it looks like we have access to most things. I think I'm going to want to unlock this door. And I think what's probably a good bet is to go back to the infirmary and save real quick. Just because we've done a lot of exploring, we picked up the shotgun, we picked up on a lot of clues, we've had a lot of events. Um, the monster's probably going to be summoned from there. And that's what I would bet on. And we need to take that out before we can, I don't know, progress the puzzle in the real world school or something like that. That's my impression at least. So that should be data four. Okay. I wonder if we even can go back to the other school. I don't think it's relevant, really, at the moment. We're probably... We just need to figure out uh, all the different puzzles, everything that's going on over here first. But I am... I am curious. Okay. So we have access to the stairwell. We can't go downstairs. And can we explore what's in here? No. Doesn't seem so. Alright, then we'll head up to the second floor. Is Cheryl in here? Is that who we're trying to rescue right now, or what? 
Do I try to go up to the roof? I have access, potentially. Let's, let's do it for the sake of filling out the map. Dang. This roof looks sign- Whoa. We can go on the roof. Which I was going to say looks significantly more intimidating in this alternate version than what was already a pretty intimidating uh, layout prior to that. Whoa! Look at all these bodies hung up by these like chains or wires or whatever. Here's a valve that's clearly standing out. There's a drainage valve. Nothing unusual. Well, I guess it's worth noting that the valve is, is here, right? That it's something we can potentially interact with on the very rooftop. Might be relevant to the boiler at some point. What is going on here? Clearly some blood, some... Anything we can interact with, though? Doesn't seem so. I wouldn't be surprised if we have to come back up here for that valve at some point. And I wouldn't be surprised if this is where we have a showdown of sorts with whatever monster lurks when we go back to the real world school. That's kind of what my, like, gamer sense is telling me. Alright, we'll head back down and explore the second floor. See what we find. Um, real quick though, seems like I have an interruption incoming. Okay, so the, the, the beauties of living in a house with other individuals that make a noise that's loud enough to interrupt recording. I had to take a, an undesired break for a little bit. However, the, the real killer is that I don't know how long it had been prior to taking that break. So I don't really have a good idea of how long this episode has been thus far. So I'm just going to play for a decent amount of time and, and hopefully that makes a, a decently sized episode. <laughs> Regardless, we're on the second floor now. I remember when we looked through the fence, when we kind of got like magically warped up to the second floor through the girls' bathroom, uh, that there was an enemy at the end of this hallway by that fence. So, uh, oh, we can kind of hear him off in the distance. So I'm not expecting to stay like 100% safe. What? How did that last one miss? No, other way. Oh, come on. All right, run, 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 run. All right, we can stomp on you. Oh, did I miss? I guess I should just, generally speaking, probably try to be more active. Darn it. Stomp them all. Oh, man. All right, turn around. Is it finally over? It's finally over. Yeah, I'm uh, not doing so hot on health. I've only got two more health drinks yet. I, have, I haven't used any of my first aid kits yet, which is nice. We've got some shelves here. We've got some more ammo. I should probably check up on how much handgun ammo I have. I think I'm probably doing okay. Let's see, yeah, we still got 147 shots and we haven't used the shotgun yet either, which of course is nice. But yeah, every time I go into the room, I'm just usually trying to like shoot him down and everything, but it's not working out. So I should probably just try to be a little bit more mobile. <sighs> all right, dog, all right. It's okay. I love my, my pupper. Okay, now, now we can check out the other classroom, potentially. This one probably won't have any enemies, because they tend to do that. They pair things so it's like one classroom with an enemy, one without. Although the music is definitely getting a little bit more intense in this room. There's some shotgun shells. I wonder if the monster is like actually on the second floor and there's like a second soundtrack that picks up as it gets closer to me or something like that. Wouldn't be surprised. Regardless, what I want to do is um, check out this door for the sake of completeness of the map. 
Oh. So I'm glad I checked here because there's a health drink. We're definitely kind of running low on those. Also, as I mentioned before, I'm pretty sure the the enemy is going to be on the other side of this. Although, what types of enemies are they? That sound effect sounds like the little like cockroach things. Okay. Well, let's let's head on out and see. Let's join the party. Yep. Oh, and it's got like like black blood. But we don't need to stomp on the the cockroaches. Although it might be a good idea to do so. Like I don't know if I can melee attack them by stomping them prior to actually shooting them. Um, is there anything on this side that I need to be like no benches with health drinks or anything like that? Doesn't look like it. I want to check out what's going on with this door. Just to be certain. I did explore this area, yeah. And the music's picking up in this classroom again. I don't know why specifically, but that's whatever. We can walk in here. We've got the, the zombies with knives, and we've got the music room. Alright, so... We'll... Oh, and the cockroaches. No, get the one that's right in front of you, man. Okay. Just like that. The lock is jammed, so we can't make our way into the music room. If anything, that means it's probably just not involved in whatever puzzle we're trying to solve right now. This is where that window was supposed to be, right? And we've got a hanging body. Dang, they're, they're really, really selling the whole hanging bodies horror thing going on here. Um, let's head in here. I think this was the locker room where we found that cat. Okay, I was gonna say, is that something like knocking on a locker? But no, those, that's my, uh, those are my footsteps. Are we gonna find anything in, in this locker again? Oh, no, that is a locker. Is it gonna be a cat? Is it gonna be some alternate weird demonic version of the cat? Totally. Nothing inside, but... But I wouldn't necessarily describe that as nothing. Yikes. So we heard all of the the knocking like something was trying to get out, but obviously nothing got out. And the music is quiet. It's a little unsettling. I have the feeling we're going to walk out and it's going to be another... Yup. Knew it. A, uh, a telephone scene where we're starting to walk away and all of a sudden the game is like, Nope, you thought you could get out of here without a jump scare. There's a library reserve key. All right, we'll take it, I guess. That's all there really is to do, right? Um, take a look at these lockers. Again, I don't really think we're gonna find much, though. Okay, so how are we doing? Um, the library reserve is all the way at the other end, so we're gonna probably have to cycle around through the classrooms and everything. That's okay for now. So from a first glance, um, we can go through here. There will probably be some enemies in the hallways. Ooh, it's locked. So, oh, and I never tried that room at the back towards that hallway. Okay, well, it looks like we're going to have to go around to the right from here. I guess I, I shouldn't be surprised given that we're probably eventually making our way down to the boiler room. So they're going to make us go all the way around <laughs> and then down to the boiler room. And then back up and around in order to solve the puzzle. But that's okay. We've already taken care of all of the enemies up here. So, as far as, you know, actually getting around here goes, it shouldn't be too... Huh? What? Did I not, like, did they come back or what? Oh, man. Alright, you know what? We're just gonna... I realized that wasn't the best decision. Did I not come in here? I feel like I had to have gone in there, right? 
Did I just, like, not kill them all? Or did they come back as, like, did they spawn as a second set of enemies? I thought the first time around they were, like, the cockroach things, anyways. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so what I wanted to try was this door here, right? I realized that shooting at them without killing them is technically a waste of bullets, but I'm not too bothered by it just at the moment. Um, what I want to do first, though, is actually go downstairs and save. So let's head back to the infirmary. We can go to the left and then across the courtyard. I think that'll be our, our faster way of going about it. But yeah, I thought I'd... I don't recall leaving a room without killing everything going on in it. So I was kind of surprised to see more enemies there. I guess I shouldn't completely rule out the possibility of enemies respawning. Or like a second wave of enemies spawning after I clear out the first one, you know? I don't hear Harry panting, but I can't imagine we're at good amount of health. <laughs> uh, how many health drinks do we even have? We have three, we have six first aid kits. Okay. So we at least still have, like, a substantial amount of healing items. We'll save. Data 5. Is it keeping track of the number of times we save? That's pretty neat. Okay, so then we'll head back up to the second floor. And continue our quest towards the boiler room. They're really dragging out this third part. <laughs> not that I, not that it's been bad though. So not complaining. Um, this is the lab equipment room, right? Okay, so at least they're kind of limiting the number of rooms we can go to. The rooms we think might have key items or whatnot. I still don't want to forget the distilled water that we'll need, uh, probably to put out the fire. I'd imagine. Um, once that we start that fire with the boilerplate, we'll probably need to like burn something in the boiler room, have something go in there, start the fire, but then put it out with the distilled water so we can get whatever item there is. I don't, so I don't want to forget about that, but okay. So we can't go in the alchemy lab, the chemistry lab either. Anything interesting over here? Just some marks on the walls. Clearly someone did not have a good time trying to paint the place. <laughs> Uh, we can try this hallway. I would expect it to be locked. Yeah. And then we can use the key here to open up this door. Cool. So let's head on in. And gun ready. No? Really? Hmm. I'm skeptical. <laughs> These more shotgun shells or what? Oh, it's a first aid kit. No useful books. What is that sound? Are those my footsteps? No. What was that sound? Uh-oh. What do we have here? The Monster Lurks is the book's title. Oh. Okay, chapter three. Manifestation of Delusions. Poltergeists are among these. Negative emotions like fear, worry, or stress manifest into external energy with physical effects. Nightmares have, in some cases, been shown to trigger them. However, such phenomena do not appear to happen just to anyone. Although it's not clear why, adolescents, especially girls, are prone to such occurrences. So clearly the relevance here is Cheryl being in the car crash, etc. The intense fear or stress could have caused a poltergeist that we are now experiencing with her, right? I think that's the, uh, I think that's the intention there. So we've got the hanging bodies. Lovely. I don't know who designed it, but you got great sense of interior design. <laughs> um... So we have that context, and now we can head over to the library. Clearly not as many books this time around, so, you know, if you were trapped here, you'd get bored quite easily. Let's see, my dog is running around. What are you up to? Um, got an open book. Well, we might as well read it, right? <laughs> Hearing this, the hunter armed with bow and arrow said, I will kill the lizard. Is this something I should take a picture of with my phone? It's probably something I should take a picture of with my phone. Um, okay. But upon meeting his opponent, he held back taunting, 
Who's afraid of a reptile? At this, the furious lizard hissed, I'll swallow you up in a single bite. Okay. Then the huge creature attacked, jaws opened wide. Okay. This was what the man wanted. Calmly drawing his bow, he shot into the lizard's gaping mouth. I have the feeling this is indicating some sort of strategy for whatever reptilian zombie we're going to fight as the boss. Effortlessly, the arrow flew, piercing the defenseless maw. And the lizard fell down dead. Okay. This is from an old fairy tale. I remember reading it as a kid. Okay. Yeah, I think this is indicating to us what the strategy is going to be for this large monster that we're going to use our, our shotgun for. <laughs> okay, some more handgun bullets. Always appreciated. Any books? Man, even fewer books in the actual library, not just the reserve. You know what? Maybe, maybe I've got it all wrong. Maybe the zombies are highly educated, and they're such bibliophiles <laughs> that they've completely emptied the library in the library reserve shelves. I think I like that interpretation a bit more. <laughs> Um, okay, let's let's head out of the library into this, this hallway. You greeted by anyone? No? Let's unlock the door. Okay. And we can head into the classroom now? Nope, I guess not. That door is locked. Well, I wanted to explore the hallway anyways. We might find a health drink on a bench or something. No? Okay. That door is locked. Hold, hold up a minute. <laughs> So, the classroom doors are locked. That's locked. How else are we going to get over there? So, the only thing I can think of right now is that we're going to go back downstairs and we're going to run into some sort of monster that's summoned simply due to the nature of we've explored all possible options right now. Because if I can't get into the classroom, it's locked. I can't get through here because of the fence. I'm not seeing a way to explore this last classroom and the boiler, right? Something worth noting, though, is that with the girls' bathroom, we were able to teleport to the second floor. And that could play a role in something like getting to that lower right corner. The only other thing I can think of is that there might have been a... I don't know... Um, hidden entrance or something in the locker room. Either way, we definitely walked all the way to the locker room, got the library reserve key, and we're supposed to come to the library. I'm surprised that we can't do anything in this hallway, though. We were obviously able to see that book, which could be, you know, the main point of coming over here, right? That could be, could have been, like, the ultimate goal, is to gain that strategy, because now we're potentially going to head back and actually, you know, face that boss. But we'll see. I think now that we have that strategy, maybe, we are supposed to go downstairs and the boss will be like summoned or something like that and we're supposed to take it down. And that'll be the prey we need to, I don't know, get into the boiler or something like that. Either way, let's, let's try. Let's see what happens. Either way, I think it'd be nice to save right now. Because we're at a little bit of a point where it's like... We've made some progress. We've explored quite a bit. Okay, nothing happened as we walked across. Worth noting... Is the clock... The clock tower's gotta be a poltergeist. Or is this whole game a poltergeist, right? It's probably a mix of both. Um, is this a poltergeist within a poltergeist? Uh, so we can save. And at this point, I'm trying to think, like, what do we do, right? So let's take a look at the items we have. We have this rubber ball. We have... Weapons. That's pretty much it. We read the, the story on the monster lurks in Poltergeist. We read the story on the the strategy for that reptile and i think we've explored everything we actually can we got the shotgun we you know maybe i need to go back to that body after having read the monster lurks maybe the name of the person next to 
the 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 monster lurks is relevant i don't know let's let's head back into the courtyard and see if we can do anything there i'm shocked i didn't go back to the courtyard and have something like spawn on me right there okay can we do something if i'm like you know hidden x around here what happens if i if i use the ball can't use it here okay it is an item we can use the question is how would we use the ball I can't think of too much. Can I go back? The tower door is locked. I can't. Okay. So that's that's good to know. Um, this is still there. How about the other side? Okay, and that's still there. So I clearly am supposed to figure out something with the, the space I currently have. I need to use the ball for something. The question is... What? Where could I use the ball from what I have seen? Maybe something with the fan? Maybe? We could go... There was the valve on the roof, right? The valve has got to be of relevance. I could try to interact with that again and see if that does something. Otherwise... Otherwise, I don't know. That's all I can really think of. I guess while we're here, we might as well try the fan. Again, I don't really anticipate a lot happening. I think this is more so for... Oh wait, no, this is the wrong... Wrong entrance. That would be the entrance to the school. The fan should be on the opposite end. So across the courtyard we go yet again. Okay, so while we're here, let's see if we can do anything about that fan. What happens if I use the ball? If only I had Banjo's Wonder Wing. <laughs> nope, can't use that. How about the steel pipe? No, I can't use it. Alright, yeah, I didn't think I'd be able to get past there, but, you know, it was, it was worth a shot. I'd rather... You know, leave no stone unturned, right? Uh, and the stairwell should be over this way. Okay, so we'll head up to the roof now. Again, the valve was noteworthy, right? At least on the map. And so, it's something we'll have to interact with at some point, presumably. The question is, how, when, and, and why? And that's not 100% clear at the moment. Okay, the valve should be right over here, right? Yeah. Drainage valve, nothing unusual. So it's a drainage valve. What does it drain? That's kind of what I'm wondering. What does it drain? Oh! There's a hanging key. It's just out of reach. Well, that's worth noting. Um, can I use the ball? Is that, it looked, there was like some circular orifice. Oh man. Okay, so there's a hanging key. I, I don't really see it, but, oh, I, I can see it. Is it hanging though? Just out of reach. Is there some way to extend my reach? Why can't I, what's it hanging from? Why can't I pull it up? Where are we directly above, right? The library reserve? Or that hallway? It looks like it'd be more in the hallway. So... Okay, so we've at least identified another key item we probably need to interact with. The question is going to be, of course, once we do find the key, or find a way to get the key, um, where does the key go to? Because there have been a few different places we've tried to go. I would guess that it's one of the classrooms. But for the time being, we'll head over this way. If it's hanging, it should be like over here, right? I like I think this would be where it where it was. Is there any way to like look up or something or 
Like, it would be right up there, wouldn't it? I don't know. I'm hitting X a bunch in the event that we are able to interact with something we just couldn't see. Or we weren't able to interact with it until we first saw it there, you know? But I'm... Yeah, I'm not really seeing anything hanging. Certainly that looks like a key. So maybe we do need to go into the library reserve for that specific reason. I don't know. I don't think so, but what else could I use, right? No useful books. This was the monster lurks, right? Chapter three, manifestation of delusions on poltergeists. Um, is there like a chain or something I could use? Maybe, probably not. Library reserve, that's where it would be if it were hanging from anywhere. Maybe, maybe it's hanging in the hallway. Doesn't look like it though. Hmm. Yeah, the only only thing I can think of right now is trying to get this key, trying to find a way to use the ball. If it were hanging, it would be like right over along this wall, if anything. But no, I'm not seeing it. Hmm. Okay, well... We can maybe revisit that body where it said the monster lurks. But I don't know. I think, I think this might be one of those, yeah, I'll take a break, you know, call the episode here and think about it for a few minutes. See if there were any other items we could maybe interact with. All I can think of is if like, I could use the knife there to maybe like cut it so it's no longer hanging. Maybe I'll try that before I do anything else. Otherwise, it might be one of those, rather than wander around aimlessly forever, uh, maybe it's time to, you know, turn to the, the spoiler list guide, right? <laughs> so, okay. What happens if I try to use the knife here? I didn't expect much better, but you know, I, I had to had to give it a go. Um, I can't use that. Can't use that. All right. Well, we'll equip our handgun regardless. But yeah, um, maybe now that I've seen that, I can activate the the drainage valve, and that'll do something. Oh my goodness, game. Okay, there's a drainage valve. Do you want to open it? Yes. Let's open the drainage valve. So I think the idea might be that it's going to flood that area, and so the key will float up to us. I'm digging these animations. It drains into the wrong hole. Maybe I could plug that up somehow. Okay. So here's the, here's the solution, right? We're going to go plug that with the ball. Now it's all making sense. It's all coming together. Climax reasoning. Use the rubber ball. And that way we've used all of our key items. We've explored all the different areas. We're gonna find where this key goes to and that'll probably be the end of our, you know, poltergeist midwitch elementary school experience. Um, or the last of where we need to go at least for, yeah, this poltergeist version. Probably gonna have to summon that thing and then shoot it down and then finished up the boiler puzzle and who knows what we'll even get out of it is Cheryl here is she somewhere else right I don't know um, regardless now we should be able to grab the key the key went down the drain 
Wait. <laughs> Wait, no. Where did, where did it go? So I went down the drain. Can I pick up the ball again? No, I can't. Okay. So if the key went down the drain, where did it drain into? So that's the next question. Right? Um, where did it drain into? Where would it drain into, right? If it's on the roof, would it drain into the the courtyard? Maybe? Like if it was in a, like a gutter of sorts, that would probably empty out into the courtyard. That's all I can think of. Regardless, this is this episode I'm sure has been going on longer than anticipated. So we're going to say we'll continue this, I don't know, drainage key mystery in the next episode. I'm sure we're pretty close to the end of this, this little dungeon. Uh, we've used up our key items. We've got to find this one key and make our way out of this like poltergeist version of Midwitch and then solve that last boiler part of the puzzle and then I don't know we'll have some big boss or something like that and and I don't even know what to expect right normally I'd be like oh and then we can save the day rescue Cheryl whatever whatever it may be but I don't even know what's going to happen once we escape from the school right I feel like we're just trying to survive at this point but um, regardless, I'm, I'm liking it quite a bit, so, and I hope you guys are enjoying it as well. But, anyways, until the next episode, this is Moon Knight Zero, and this mission is complete.